Welcome to LDR 655, Negotiations as Process. I'm John Wallace, your professor for uh, Siena Heights University. This is the introduction to our class. What we're going to go through in this short video is the discussion of negotiations as a process, our textbook, an overview of what's in e-college, the design of the class, the way I've put it together, our syllabus, the grading rubrics. Some of you may not have seen those before and the expectations for the class. Now, the design is really fairly simple. You're going to read. We're going to have discussions both in class where we'll do some case study work and online in your discussion threads. You're going to do some research, some of which will end up in your main paper, some of which will end up in discussion threads, and hopefully you can tie those two together and do some writing every week, and hopefully you will grow in this process and improve your toolbox of skills. A couple of key dates you want to look at. June 19th, week three, you're going to tell us what the title or topic, title may not be determined yet, but the topic of your main research paper, which is due in the final week of class. Class. July 3rd, and yes, I'm sorry we are meeting the day before the 4th of July, but that's the schedule. You'll need to post the reference pages for that research paper. Waiting until the last minute is never a good idea. So the idea of deciding what your topic's going to be and gathering some data along the way, that doesn't mean your reference page won't change in between week 5 and week 10, but it'll give you a good start. Week 9, your rough draft is due. That's the 31st of July and August 7th, the last week of class. The final paper and presentation is due. Your presentation will be in PowerPoint format, but we're going to meet off-site. And so you will not actually be, you know, showing slides to the class with a projector. You'll be handing us a printout that says, here's the slides, and then we'll discuss it. Our class design is blended, of course, as they all are. We're online the first week. When we're online, every time we're online, you'll have one chapter per week to read, and there'll be these accompanying videos. When we're in class, since we'll be together, we'll go through two chapters. May or may not be easier for you, but that gets us all the way through the book by week eight, so that nine and ten you can finish your writing and presentation. There's going to be quizzes for every chapter, 25-point quizzes for eight weeks. There will not be any quizzes in weeks nine or ten. Discussion threads you'll have to do, and there's going to be some journaling involved. And what we're particularly looking for in your journal, which is not something you share with the other students, I'm the only one who sees it, is the opportunity for you to take a look at your daily activities things that have happened in the course of the week, opportunities you had to negotiate or were negotiating that beforehand you might not have noticed because you hadn't taken the class. As we take a look at e-college, right up on the course home section, you'll see syllabus, the cyber cafe. The syllabus is also available in doc sharing as well, and it's completely laid out there, including a week-by-week -week breakdown. The Cyber Cafe, this time we're doing it a little different because we've all been in class together. Either you've all had classes together, and most of you have had me before as well. So this time, tell us something we don't already know about yourself in the Cyber Cafe, as it were. I am still building the online curriculum, as you can tell, and will continue to do so until I get it all completed. The required text is Essentials of Negotiation, the fifth edition. Some uh, colleges in this graduate level also you require to get the sixth edition, I did not. Some of you did, and that's fine. It's, it's a good book. And we'll do some of the exercises and cases in class that are in 6E, but it's not required for you to buy. The quizzes that you're going to take each week, there are 25 questions in each quiz. They're all worth a point. Some folks are use quizzes to test how whether or not you've really done the reading. You take it once and you get your grading. That's not really the neurology or the science behind it quizzes, which say the more we do it, the more we understand the materials. The idea is not to study for it through Friday, say, take the quiz Friday and then completely forget it on Monday, which is what happens for most of us when it comes to testing. So these quizzes are set up that you can take them multiple times. They're designed to help you understand and remember the terminology and the concepts, and that's all. You take it once, you don't like your point total, because the point total does add up, then you can take it again. In the discussion threads, there is a discussion thread rubric. There's rubrics for everything, and they're listed both in the course home section and also as a document you can download and doc sharing. But here's the guidelines, 10 points down to zero points, for how you're going to be graded on your discussion threads. You know, if you're superficial, you're going to be in trouble. Just very simple, and rubrics help lay out for both you and I exactly what the expectations are and how you can meet them, and so there's no real arguments or questions about why you were given the grade. You either met the standard or you did not. Within Doc Sharing, there's several folders. There's the professor's presentations, and I have started uploading the PowerPoints in there, both in PDF and PowerPoint format. If there's extensive notes in the PowerPoint, I'll upload a notes version. If there aren't extensive notes, then I'm just going to upload the PowerPoint PDF with the slides only. 
You'll also notice that, for instance, on this slide, you can see um, right in the doc sharing section, this was a 2011 summary that was published of the negotiation book. The current edition 5e that we're using is 2011, but it's there. Something is a short PDF that you can download and use for references. You'll also find within doc sharing a folder called syllabus and the grading rubrics. Also, the course calendar, the schedule for assignments and things are in there. And a section for week two readings because your discussion thread in week two is all an assigned reading selection within there. There's one PDF, one published article for each of you to read. The majority of them come from Harvard. In your journals, and of course there's more people listed here because the doctors and deans and assistants for the graduate school have the ability to access our online work at any time, they aren't going to be reading your journals. I'm the only one who's going to read your journals, but across the top you'll see a spot that says journal. Every week you need to be inputting something. There's a rubric for that, of course, as well. If you go into the webliography, there's some great sites already set. The Harvard Program on Negotiation, you can register for for free, and you'll get some updated emails and PDFs again in the week two readings. That's where most of those articles came from. Dispute Resolution Center, the no Negotiation Skills Company, Conflict Information Consortium. While you're doing research, these may be places you want to go look. Not showing on the screen, but at the very bottom is also a locus of control 13-question quiz you can take that tells you where you are in terms of internal and external locus of control. If you're not familiar with the term, it's coming up in one of our chapters. Rubrics, of course, do exist not only for the paper, but for everything else that you're going to do in the class. It's just clear for all of us on where we need to go. I saw a great tweet the other day from a consultant that I follow who's got a doctorate in leadership and a lot of coaching individual executives. But there is no activity of being a leader that does not involve negotiation. All of your leadership studies, because you're all in a leadership graduate program, you ought to understand that. The objectives for the class are to enhance your self-confidence and your negotiation skills, to visualize and plan multiple scenarios from all parties' perspectives, the ability for you to do that, your ability to develop an analytical understanding of negotiation so you can become more effective problem solvers in the face of conflict, which is pretty much constant. To increase recognition of the continual daily negotiating events that you take part in, whether you were realizing it before or not. To recognize and utilize constructive conflict techniques to achieve cooperative resolution. To assist students in increasing your ability for bargaining and dispute resolution, the skills that arise whenever joint decision-making is necessary in our organizations and in our families. And to develop implementation skills, including overcoming, accommodating, and different opinions and interests. In particular, your ability for me to walk in the other party's shoes, to understand where they're coming from, because that will allow you to better collaborate. It'll also allow you to better achieve your outcomes because you know where theirs are. It's standard for me. There's a thousand possible points in the class. You get 20 points per week when we meet face-to-face -face for being involved, asking questions, making comments, however it may be. There's 100 points total there. There's discussion threads all 10 weeks, including weeks 9 and 10. 10 points apiece for there. There are eight 25-point chapter quizzes, 200 points. Your journaling is 10 points a week, another 100 points. Your research paper and presentation, and as it is, there really isn't any points for presentation. There's 350 points for the paper and 50 for posting your draft on time. And then at the end of the course, of always, we have the reflective essay. Give you a total of 1,000 points. So you've had me before. I've had all of you before. Trust that we will be on the same page and you will communicate consistently and in a timely manner if there are any life issues that comes up or if you're struggling with something. One of you has already asked me if you can work ahead. Absolutely, I have no problem with that whatsoever. And uh, you have within the syllabus, if not already somewhere in your database, is my cell phone and uh, all the emails for me. Please, in your emails, always put as a subject line LDR 655 because it goes right to my folder that says LDR 655, and I know there's something urgent coming with class. Week 10, your classmates, uh, before some of you signed up for the class, have already negotiated. We're going to meet the final week of class at the South Bend Chocolate Cafe in downtown St. Joseph. You'll bring your presentation in printed form to discuss with us. And if you've got notes underneath the slides, then you would bring a, a notes version of the printout that shows both the slide and the print. And then you'll hand it out to the eight of us, and we'll have a roundtable discussion. I would say good luck, but you don't need luck. You're A, all talented, B, uh, strong students, and C, uh, have great motivation to not only do well in this class, but gain the skill sets that this class offers for you. So I'll see you online this first week, and then see you in class for week two.